it's not about desire it's not about want it's their culture if someone raised their kid their son or their daughter and tells them that if they're latina if they're indian or if they're whatever culture they should marry from their culture i think that's a good thing to tell your kid to marry from their culture but of course you can't control who your kid falls in love with so if should in case your son or your daughter falls in love with someone from a different culture that's okay but it's your duty to make sure that you tell your kids that show them the importance of marrying from your culture and in this case you should be someone who is also married from your culture so your kids will see the example from you and they will follow suit because you have done you have done what you're trying to tell them to do right so i don't know why most black people are always into poking their nose into people's cultures like if the arabs don't are, to, are telling their kids that they should marry arabs what's your problem about it that's a sign for you to also tell your kids you as a black person to tell your kids that they should date black they should marry black and you as a black man should also go for black women right so i don't know why you're poking your nose into people's culture and telling them what they ought and what they ought not to do that's their culture we should all learn how to respect people's cultures and when they don't want to date you you say they're racist they're not racist they're just being they're just being uh, they're just doing the right thing like people need to procreate i mean cultures needs to continue there needs to be continuity there needs to be sustainability of cultures traditions and customs so if people want to that their kids should marry from their culture i don't see any problem with that i don't and I, I don't know why it's always black people who are always poking their nose into people's cultures telling people why are you not accepting black people to marry you why are you not you shouldn't force yourself into other people's culture i mean there's so many black people in the world we make up majority of the earth's population so if you can't find a black woman in america why not go to the caribbean why not go to africa to mother africa to mama africa why don't you go to ground zero and find a black girl for you because i'm sure that there will be one black girl for you back there who is waiting to be your bride right and black people have a very rich culture i don't know of course the people in, in america don't really have like that sense of culture that sense of identity you know but you are african the moment the day you accept that you're african you're going to feel african you're going to go back to motherland to reconnect with your ancestors with your culture with your people black people stop going to other people's cultures and trying to force yourself into their circles into their communities let's continue they will sleep with a black guy why do you have to teach them or train them to be racist you're doing that out of fear so that's what you must understand that these racist groups they really want to date a black guy or a black female you know what i hear a lot of middle eastern guys saying these days they're like i don't want to marry an arabic girl because i have to pay for the wedding and then she wants a wedding planner she's going to spend hours explaining to the wedding planner what she wants when she can just call the florist and send her a picture off of Pinterest and it's done. Then she wants me to buy the house that she wants me to hire an interior decorator for when she's a professional shopper and she's in the same stores that the interior decorator is going to be at anyways. And then, fast forward, she's going to divorce me and take half of everything anyways. I might as well marry a white girl that's going to pay for everything with me. That way, when she divorces me, it's her cut anyways. She earned it. She paid for it. Why do I need an Arabic girl? And on top of the Arabic girl is going to bring me her mother and her sisters. They're going to be at my house all day. But then my parents are never going to be in my house because it's not comfortable for her. Your mom is too opinionated, but her mom's not opinionated. <laughs> Makes sense, right? You see now, another thing you must understand about dating Arabs is that they are used to being spoiled or they like being spoiled. Why do you think their men have to make sure they have money? They have to open up stores in black hoods and black communities because if they don't have the money, they're not sticking around. You know, and that's why other groups of people, they focus so much on not supporting black businesses. And they don't want black men to have money. They like see you in poverty. I don't understand, you know, 
black uh, people, you are talking about black people and Arab culture, you know, the Arabs, they got their culture and that's their culture. We need to respect people's culture, cultures. Their culture is such a, is in such a way that the woman is spoiled. The woman is the man's uh, baby. He makes, he makes sure he provides her a home, a house, shelter, food, clothes, everything and she is just there to be spoiled and she takes care of the home right that's their culture and it's been that way for many years for centuries and why would you find a problem with that and in your mind you're saying that because these women are being spoiled a uh, 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 black men they're, they're being spoiled when they come to the western world they see black men they want to date black men it's not about being spoiled it's not about wanting to date black men yes arab women date black men maybe in hiding because you, you rarely see it in public but i don't understand why you find you see it as a problem when muslim people arab men take care of their wives they can they take care of their wives of course that's their culture and that's that's how it has been. If they want to change it, let them change it. That's not your problem. You should stick with your own culture, with your own problem. Stop poking your nose into other people's culture and stop talking about putting everything to be about racism because I don't see the connection with racism and to why Arab men spoil their wives. I don't see the connection. Please make this make sense. Because like that, you won't be able to take their woman. You understand? That's why they don't support black businesses. But Arabs, they like guys with money. They want to be spoiled. Just like Asian, white. You know these other groups? If you a black guy, long as you have a good job or you're making good money, you can't sleep with them. I highly recommend marrying black men. A lot of Arab and brown women are reaching out and they're trying to find black men. And I say black men are kind. They're very secure in their masculinity they're also gentle they're also not like like i see this a lot in the arab community because they grew up in it men get very shy that their women are, are out there or their women work or their woman does something and black men are very chill and secure about it like she's on her dean she's respecting herself i'm not going to feel shy about this and that's a huge cultural difference that i definitely appreciate from marrying a black man so do yourself a favor ladies find yourself a black man I'm not going to feel shy about this. And that's a huge cultural difference that I definitely appreciate from marrying a black man. So do yourself a favor, ladies. Find yourself a black man. <laughs> She's definitely tasted it, right? <laughs> Who? Okay. 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 Hmm. Like, really? And I saw a picture there of a black guy saying that a black passport bro is going to a to one Arab country to find himself an Arab wife. Of course, the Arab guys are not gonna let you be with your wives because the last time, the last black guy who tried it last time was found in the next morning on a life from an eighth floor building. They don't joke with it. They don't joke with their women no arab guys don't joke with their women mm. black guys what are you looking for now you've left the black queens in your community and you are trying to join the chat you want to join the arab women chat right hmm be ready for the fight because the arab guys are not going to lie down see you take their wives away take their females away no you're gonna have a very very hard fight with them Okay, this uh, statement. Well, since Arab men belong to Spanish women, we want to belong to black men. This is from an Arab woman. 
<laughs> so does this mean that most Arab men, uh, when they come abroad, they get the culture shock, they go for Spanish women? And now the, the Arab women want to go for the black guys. Okay, whatever. And this black guy, why is he dancing? Why is he so happy about being with an Arab woman? Why? Why isn't he with a woman from his culture? Why? Why? All you, these black men, I don't know what you're looking for. You're always going to poke your nose in other people's culture. You've got black queens. You don't, you don't, you don't cherish them. You don't value them. You're going to another culture and you are the ones coming online to complain how you've been mistreated in other cultures. Bro, what are you doing in another person's kitchen? What are you cooking in an Arab, Arab woman's kitchen? Bro, are you for real? Hmm. Is this for real? This seems to be a trend, you know? <laughs> oh my God. Since uh, Middle Eastern guys belong to Latinas. You should leave America. Did you know that a two bedroom apartment in the hood in America is $2,000? Whereas rent in the UK in the hood is 400 pounds? You guys are tripping. And if you're wondering, why does this girl live in the hood? I've lived in a safe neighborhood my whole life. It is boring. But when you live in the hood, it is so freaking exciting. Like yesterday, my neighbor accused me of breaking into her car. And I was like, wow, she thinks I could break into her car? I'm belonging. Cookie, there's someone staring at me. Who's staring at you? That one. Who? That one. This guy? Yeah. Are you, are you positive it was this guy? Yeah, you're such a loser. I'm done. Wanna hit likes? A lot of Arab and brown Muslim women always reach out to me and ask me how do I tell my parents about the black man that I'm interested in. There's a lot of Muslim women out there that are Arab and brown and they don't know how to come and talk to their parents about the man that they're interested in simply because he's black. Simply because their parents have iterated to them again and again and again, no black men no black men. They'll even be like, if they're Arab, they'll be like, okay, any other Arab country is fine. And if they're Daisy, they'll be like, okay, any other Daisy kind of is fine. But like, what? Like, what? How, how are they even determining the value of a man? By his skin color? That's not Islam. So if you're having trouble and you don't know how to reach out to your parents, go to marriageishalal.com. We'll try to help you out. You can book a consultation with us. It's not about Islam. It's not about some culture. It's not about religion. Racism is real. Racism is engraved in every culture, in every system in the world. There is racism. So you all need to acknowledge the fact that racism exists and people behave, people react to people who look darker in complexion with racist stereotypes, prejudices. So before you talk about, oh, it's not in Islam. Oh, I don't see color. I see love. I don't see color. I see humanity. There is racism. And so many people believe in racism. They, their actions are racist. Their thoughts are racist. They, they, the things they do are racist. So 
let's acknowledge the fact that racism exists before we can continue talking you can't just come up and say oh it's not in islam <laughs> my dear racism is everywhere it's everywhere so people especially black guys or arab women you all should stick with your culture just stick with your culture don't bring trouble over to the black community we've had a lot of trouble for several years for many years for centuries we're not ready to have your trouble added to our troubles i don't know why these black guys keep going to other people's culture infiltrating other people's cultures i mean she already said it that so many arab women are so afraid they are also, they are interested in black guys but they are so afraid to tell their arab dad or mom their arab parents about the black guy they're interested in because they will never accept they have been told since from when they were young that no black guys no black guys of course so what do you all black people need to do you all need to tell your own kids as well no other race no arabs no other race simple just tell them that no other race it's so simple people should stick to their cultures and their beliefs and this world will be a peaceful place we should all stick to our cultures and our beliefs in peace but not in pieces but at the end of the day you can go anywhere and you can talk to anyone and you can open up the quran for yourself there is nowhere that says you need to obey your parents if they are straight out doing something that is un-islamic and preventing you from marrying a muslim man just because of his skin color is un-islamic so shut that down respectfully say no and you know do your thing at the moment, it is the African's decade. The yeah, African's it is. You're not we winning got, right now. Bro, there's not one Arab girl that's not married to um, a black guy. <laughs> well, uh. Yeah, we're, we're moving in. We're moving in. At the moment, it is the African's decade. The African's yeah, it is. You're not winning got, right now. Bro, there's not one Arab girl that's not married to um, a black guy. <laughs> well, uh. Yeah, we're, we're, we're moving in. We're moving in. Ask Petty Tupac. I made this post and some people disagree i'll read it to you okay black men who associate with more arab women do better than other black men because we provide something black women can't like submissiveness to parent households no attitude we don't date men for purses we know when to be quiet we don't want praise for being wild and ratchet and we have real hair no offense but it's the truth like i don't know someone please explain y'all don't even know how often this happens in arab families it's insane when i was younger we were told that if any of our siblings got married to a black person that we were going to be disowned for life and i have family members that have married someone black and have been disowned from other family members for life. Guy side-eyed at family events. Talk shit about by all the aunties. Meanwhile, their 70-year-old husband is looking for his third wife. Like, come on now. Because racism is still very much alive in the Muslim Ummah. Racism has not been eradicated. In fact, the only people that don't face racism in the Muslim Ummah are people that have the skin color like me or lighter. Brown Muslims don't face racism, so they say it doesn't exist. They say there is no racism in Islam because I don't face it. Black Muslims are saying that they're facing racism from brown Muslims. So we got to believe them. And number one, we need to stop it. It is Wild Wednesday and I'm going to get wild and offensive with my videos because I think it's time somebody digs deep into our culture and into our people to figure out what is going on upstairs with our women. Divorce is on the rise more than ever among Middle Easterns, whether they live in the Middle East or abroad. And just like we saw among Westernized countries like America, when the women became independent is when the family structures collapsed. They, they collapsed to the point where now women are waking up and saying, you know what? I want a home again. I want my kids to have a healthy home. Well, the Middle Easterns are not there. We are at the point where we are collapsing because not only are women independent asking for a divorce, but we also have culture shock. A lot of our women are extremely spoiled. Yes, I said it. A lot of our women are extremely spoiled and the men cannot keep up. What is happening with our women? We went 
from a point where Arab men used to tell each other, marry her young, so you can raise her your way, which is not right either. Come to find out, you cannot raise a woman because we get to a point where we know what we want. And did you guys know that 70% of divorces are initiated by women? And of those women, 90% of them are college educated. Are they sick of the abuse? and they want out because they know they can support themselves or do they no longer want to make the sacrifice for their marriage?